creating web buttons in Corel Draw. If you look at this button, this was all done in Corel Draw. Now we're gonna do that one. First, uh, so first we we make a make this shape, which is done by making a rectangular box. Yep. And then now, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a uh, radius corners. So you click on rectangular tool and you go to your shape tool or F10, and then drag this to the right side. And now I have a shape. Now you have to do two shapes now. This first shape and a small small one over here. So you click that one and you go to edit and then duplicate. Now I have two shapes. Now you have to shrink this down to this one. Okay. So I have two shapes now. So the first one you make it red and the second one you make it white. Now you have to remove the outline. So you click on the outline tool and click on the X. Click on this one and click on outline X. Oh no outline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to blend this one and this one. Sorry, he'll make that yellow. So just make it the same one as this one. So you select both objects by doing a crossing window and you go to effect and go to blend. Okay. Now, in the blend, if I click on apply, that's where I get it, right? Okay. I'll just explain more about the blend. Uh, here, you can see it's 22 steps. So if I go to my view wireframe, see I've got 22 steps going to the red, yellow going to the red. Let's go back here. Then I can make this more. So the more steps you do, okay, the smoother your circle, I mean, your blending of the colors would be. Okay. Now, I'm going to make this one, okay, it's kind of a reflection too, to make the gloss effect. So what you do is, you can make, you can all, you can make a rectangular again and make it or you can always duplicate that object. Now I made that and I'll make it smaller. Let me fit it in here. Make it narrower. Like this way. So I think that's fine. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it white. This one should stay on the top of the all the objects. So if it's on the top, you always go to arrange, order to front. So it's also it's it's already in front, so I can't have that object. And then make sure to remove the outline by going to your outline tool, click no fill. And then here we're going to do transparency. So go you go to your interactive transparency tool, the wine glass, and then click and drag going down. Now I want to then you can do some adjustments. Say I want to create. Okay, I'm okay with that. Well, it looks the same now. Now I'll just type in home. All caps. Okay, make it the same size. Before that, I'll just click this one so we have a bigger view. Okay, I've got home. Okay. Now I'm going to put an outline, a white outline as you can see here. So I go to my outline tool and click on the first outline pen dialog. Let's see, I'll make it two points. Color is white. Make sure it's behind fill. And I wanted the corners of the outline to be rounded. Click OK. It's not the same thickness. I'll go back here, outline pen. I'll make it four and then click OK. There, it's the same now. Now the only thing I have to do is put drop shadow. So you go to my drop shadow tool. That's this one. Interactive dress, uh, drop shadow tool. And then I click and drag to the lower right corner. There you go. Then I can always adjust it by, see this uh, white line here? I can move it 
going this way to make it darker going it needed to make it more transparent put it that way and there you go so that one is ready for publishing to the web that's it